In this recording, we will be showing you how to set up a employee as well as an employee user login for the software. To set up an employee and to create their login, you do have to log in as the admin user. So enter the admin user and password. Once we log in, we can access menu, maintenance, and employee. To add a new employee, we will click the plus button for insert. It will bring up a blank record. From here, we can use enter a unique four digit alphanumeric code. You can either use initials, an employee code, or just a random number. This time we will use a just a random number. For the employee type, you will want to choose operator. And then we will enter the employee's name and their start date. The start date, if you set it for the future, their user login will not work until that date comes to pass. Otherwise, just set it for a current date and save the record. Then we'll move on to the security tab. On the security tab, we will choose the central station tab. We want to select the central station supervisor option, which will allow the user to be able to reset stuck alarms that are in the alarm stack, as well as exiting the software and adjusting their processing. We will also choose the option to permit to activate emergency management mode. We will leave the permitted to activate alarm management mode blank, which will force the system to automatically process when the operator logs in. We will allow the operator to place accounts on test. We will not allow indefinite test times, and we will not allow purge alarm stack. From here, we will choose save. Moving on to operator skill, we will hit the plus sign for insert and choose default and save. Move on to alarm group, hit the plus button for insert, select default and save. And from here we have created the employee that we need. So we can move on to menu, security, add delete users. And from here we will create the user login so we'll hit plus to create a blank blank record. We will select our employee. We'll select a username and a password. Confirm the password. We will select an employee group for the purposes of the operator being able to process the central station alarms as well as being able to do the data entry. We will select the advanced operator option. And on this field, we will select the central station supervisor. If you leave this blank or if you select the incorrect employee group, we will go ahead and save it. These can be corrected 